Since it has been a few weeks since the Reapers have been buffed, I would like to discuss why I think they are still a bad unit. For those of you who are not familiar, I'll start by explaining the Reaper buffs. As of 26th August 2021, the very heavy armor trait on the Reapers and Monastic Knights has been buffed to 17% damage reduction, up from 10%. On top of the armor buffs, the Iron Reaper receive additional buffs to their AI, unit targeting, and a new ability called Tiger Step. The former buff to their AI is great as they behave much like a newer unit, meaning they will run towards your Warlord faster when double tapping C, allowing them to exceed their unit speed and to target enemy units better without body blocking each other. I would like to mention though that since their AI has been improved, they are now aggressive to nearby units, which means you cannot make the Reapers hold their position when enemy units are nearby, which can be frustrating. As for the latter buff, the Tiger Step ability, this provides them with CC immunity for a couple of seconds on cast and gives the Reapers a chance to charge and knock back units for 12 seconds upon activation. On paper, these buffs are great, however, in reality, I believe the buffs are not enough to change the state of the game meta and make the Iron Reapers a viable unit. My main reason for thinking that the Reapers cannot be relevant in the current game meta is due to the existence of the Modal Battalion, which are superior in every way. Firstly, let's take a look at the leadership costs. The Modal are only 305 in Season 8, which will increase to 320 next season. Considering both units will share the same leadership cost in future seasons, it makes the Modal Battalion a much more favourable unit over the Iron Reapers due to their superior kit and abilities. Although this isn't the case on Frontier servers, thanks to the implementation of leadership doctrines, which you can slap onto tier 5 units to lower their leadership cost to that of a tier 4 unit. Leadership constraint is a real issue on the My Game servers, meaning outside of high level games and territory wars, it is going to be much better to take 3 tier 4 units over taking 1 tier 5 unit with a mixed warband of either tier 4 or tier 3 units. Unless you have 780 leadership or greater, you're unlikely to take either Modal or Iron Reapers into your casual siege battle games, as it is just not a good trade-off in terms of kit cost and difficulty in running two additional tier 4 units. Before we continue with this unit comparison, please consider subscribing to support my channel. Thank you. Both units are heavily armoured, Iron Reapers are able to achieve piercing defence stats in excess of 1100, whilst the bottom line modal will have piercing defense in excess of 900. With the addition of the heavy armor trait, you will think the Iron Reapers are vastly tankier. This is however not the case, as the modal have the brace ability which reduce damage taken by up to 35%. Which brings me on to the next point, their abilities. As I mentioned before, the modal have a brace which reduce damage, on top of two additional abilities which are modal march and instant lunge attack which knocks back units, this ability is on a ridiculously low cooldown of 4 seconds. Last but not least is Carnage, which is a charge type ability which knocks down units and deals massive amount of damage. Top line modal also benefit from a lower cooldown on this ability. For bottom line modal though, Carnage is on a 35 second cooldown. In terms of abilities for the Iron Reapers, they have the Tiger Step ability which is similar to Modal March, yet gives them CC immunity for few seconds and buffs their attacks for 12 seconds with a 40 second cooldown. As of bug fixes from the 9th of September, Tiger Step also allows the Reapers to body slam their enemy, something I have not been able to witness prior to the patch. Next is their charge which is very strong but slow. This is on a 45 second cooldown. Partial completion of the bottom line veterancy for the Reapers will also unlock a third heal ability, which is great. Both units have great abilities, however the modal are far superior in terms of ability thanks to much lower cooldowns and damage reduction which comes with their brace. We all know both units are great against infantry, but only one is both great versus infantry and cavalry, which is the modal. No matter how good the Iron Reapers are, they do not have anything in their kit to counter cav. Finally, let's address unit speed. Modal have a unit speed of 4.4, whilst the Reapers have a speed of 3.8. I think this is pretty noticeable in the middle of the battle, even when double tapping C, as the Modal will be able to reposition much quicker and come to your aid much sooner. Aside from the comparison against the Modal Battalion, there are other reasons I dislike the Iron Reapers. 
They are heavily armoured, yet cannot survive charging first into Grey Hairs, Modal, or even Palace Guards, as they will be dead almost instantly. Reapers are best used when combined with a push using other frontline units as a secondary charge to wipe out their enemy, which I feel is the only niche scenario where they can perform quite well. Sure, they can hold their own in 1v1 against units such as Berserkers and even poorly macroed Modal, but because of their lack of speed and high ability cooldowns, they will in most cases lose when more than one enemy hero intervenes. For these reasons, I think the Reapers are a worse shock unit than the likes of Palace Guards, Paladins, and even the Condottieri Guard, which are not only better in most scenarios thanks to their quicker movement speed and strong charges, but are also less dearer to lose thanks to their lower leadership and kit costs. If you are a newer player, I do not recommend that you spend the time and honour to unlock the Iron Reapers, for veteran players though, these may be fun to bring out every now and then in free battles. In conclusion, the only thing the Reaper buff delivers is content that is dead on arrival. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I also stream regularly on Twitch to which you can find a link in the video's description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.